Hello, you're welcome to today's lesson. We will be looking at Business Studies Paper 2, which is Office Practice 2024 Basic Education Certificate Examination. Take note, Paper 2 is Office Practice, and this is an aspect of Business Studies which you are going to see in your examination. Let's take a look at the first question. The plan of a journey is called A, itinerary, B, locomotive, C, movement calendar, D, official movement, E, route. The correct answer among the options we have is A. Question number two. The maximum number of people that a small office can accommodate is A, 5, B, 8, C, 10. D20, E25. Some small offices you can see um, between 2, 3, 4, 5, or even 8 people, but the maximum number it can accommodate is C, which is 10. Question number 3 says Personal letters can be referred to as dash letters A, business, B, company, C, formal. D. Personal. E. Informal. The correct answer is E. Informal letters are actually personal letters. Question 4 says, which of the following is a job quality of a clerical staff? A. Ability to use initiative. B. Conscious in, dealings, in dealing with visitors. C. Good appearance at work. D. Readiness to cooperate with others. E. Sound health of mind. I want you to know that clerical staff often serve as a first point of contact for visitors and clients, making cautiousness an essential job quality. So the correct answer is B, conscious in dealing with visitors. Let's move up to question five. An officer responsible for handling incoming and outgoing mails is A. Clerical staff, B. Director, C. Executive Secretary, D. Management staff, E. Manager. The right answer is A. Clerical staff. Question 6 says A place set aside to receive and welcome visitors into an organization is A. Boardroom, no, that's for having official or management meeting. B, classroom, no, where students or pupils learn. C, hall, no, D, reception, no, E, staff room. So I almost said no for reception, but the answer is actually yes. So the reception is a place set aside to receive and welcome visitors into an organization. Question 7 says, the attributes of a clerical staff are usually categorized into dash parts A5, B4, C6, D3, E2. The correct answer is 2. Question 8. Arriving at a place of work on time means A. Commitment, B. Consistency, C. Punctuality, D. Regularity, E. Reliability. The answer is punctuality. Once you always arrive early um, at your place of work, then you are punctual. Let's go over to the next page and look at question 9. If an organization is to succeed in a competitive environment, its information should be A. Kept confidential. B. Posted at the notice board. C. Posted on the social media. D. Published on the dailies. E. Released to the press. If an organization must succeed in a competitive environment, you must have um, some things others don't know. So you must, um, your information must be kept confidential because once you blow it out, people will take what makes your organization unique, use them and even improve on them and thereby have a competitive advantage over you. Question 10 says, 
A situation whereby a worker responds positively to his work is termed A. Devotion to duty B. Motivation C. Punctuality D. Regularity E. Right attitude The right answer is right attitude. Probably you might have heard a saying that says, right attitude is everything. Once a worker has right attitude, the person will be devoted, will be motivated, um, we get to work early and on a regular basis. So right attitude is virtually everything. So let's take a look at question 11. This question says, the following are attributes of punctuality and regularity except one of them. A. Commitment. B. Consistency. C. Interest. D. Promptness. E. Transy. Transy is not an attribute of punctuality. Reason being that transy refers to the act of staying away from work or duty without good reason. You can see that is not the right answer. Question 12 says, you can see that transy is the answer for question 11 because it's not an attribute of punctuality. So, question 12, the running of day-to-day -day activities of an organization is a function of dash department. A, account. B, administrative. C, research. D, sales. E, transport. The administrative department are in charge of running the day-to-day -day acti activities of an organization. So let's go up to question 13. Procuring right quality and quantity of raw materials in an organization is the responsibility of what department? A. Marketing. B. Personnel. C. Planning. D. Production. E. Purchasing. The right answer is e purchasing. In some organization, they can have, have it as procurement department. So purchasing is the right answer. Question 14. This question says, A telephone message pad is used to A. Answer calls outside the country. B. Present speech on behalf of a superior officer. C. Record voice note for an officer who is not in the office. D. State the organizational mission statement. E. Take the proceedings of meeting. Okay, let's look at what a, tele a telephone message pad is all about. This tool is actually used for noting messages from callers when the intended recipient is unavailable. So among the options we have, Option C is the correct answer. Record voice note for an officer who is not in office. Question 15 says, An office in charge of student career needs is a dash office. A. Administrative. B. Bosses. C. General. D. Matrons. E. Counselors. The counselor's office is in charge of student's career. Question 16. A place where clerical and administrative activities are carried out is A slash an A office, B school's store, C staff room, D strong room, E warehouse. The right answer is office. So what you have is just the definition of an office. An office is a place where clerical and administrative activities are carried out. Let's take a look at the next page and question 17. An internal control mechanism adopted to check the way of performing tax in an organization is Office A, Communication, B, Design, C, Layout, D, Procedure, E, Staff. The right answer is Procedure. An office procedure is an internal control mechanism adopted to check the way of performing tasks in that organization. So, question 18 says, a device used to perform various activities in an organization is Office A, Equipment, B, Layout, C, Planning, 
the procedure is tough. The correct answer is equipment. It's a tool used to perform various organization, uh, to perform various activities in an organization. Question 19. Logistic needs of an organization is handled by Dash Department. A. Administrative. B. Personnel. C. Production. D. Research. E. Transport. The correct answer is administrative. Question 20 says, A device used to sort documents in an office is A. Collator. B. Computer. C. Laminator. D. Perforator. E. Shredder. The right answer is A, collator. A collator is simply a machine that can automatically sort multiple copies of documents into sets or sequences. So let's move down to question 21. The machine used to make holes on documents is A, collator, B, duplicator, C, perforator, D, shredder, E, stapler. No, the correct answer is um. Perforator is used to make holes on documents. Let's move up to question 22. This patch book is used for A. Recording inward letters, B. Recording minutes, C. Recording outgoing mails, D. Storing mails, E. Visitors records. The correct answer is C. This patch book is used for recording outgoing mails. Question 23. The most common way of making payments through the internet is by A. Automated teller machine, B. Bank draft, C. Cash, D. Point of sale, E. Teller. The right answer is point of sale or what people generally know as POS. So this um, point of sale or POS refers to electronic Transactions where customers can make payments directly using their credit or debit cards. Okay, so let's take a look at um, question 24. Let me come down a bit to 24, 25. So question 24 says, A place where financial records of the school are kept is Dash Office, A. Bosses, B. Counselors, C. Directors, D. Principals, E. Registrars. Among the options we have here, the correct one is A. The boss's office are where financial records of the school are kept. Question 25 says, The following are importance of office procedure except that A. It brings orderliness in the activities of the organization. B. Facilitates easy reference to business transactions in the future. C. Increases friction and conflict among staff. D. Makes the activities of the organization to be uniform. E spells out duties and responsibilities. For question 25, the correct answer is C. C is not an importance of office procedure. Office procedure does not include to increase friction and conflict among staff. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the uh, last page for office practice. As we look at question 26, Mr. Yahaya bought goods from a supermarket. The evidence that shows he has made payments is A, credit note, B, debit note, C, performa invoice, D, quotation, E, receipt. Receipt is what they give you once you make payment for goods bought. So that is the correct answer. Question 27. A financial report of transactions between a buyer and seller for a specific period of time is A. Credit note, B. Debit note, C. Price list, D. Statement of account, E. Statement of indebtedness. Your statement of account will show um, your financial report of transaction between the buyer and the seller. So if you are the buyer and they have the seller, all your transactions will be there. Question 28 says, organizations receive email by A, hand delivery, B, internet, C, postal order, D, prosy, E, rider. The right answer is internet. Emails are received via the internet. So let's take a look at question 29. 
The sales document that gives detailed information about the goods and value of transaction is A. Delivering note B. Invoice C. Price list D. Quotation E. Receipt The correct answer for question 29 is invoice. The invoice gives detailed information about goods and value of transaction. And finally, for the last question, um, office practice has 30 questions. Question 30 says, Incoming mails are registered in dash book. A. Dispatch. B. Inward. C. Outward. D. Postage. E. Sales. The right answer is inward. All right, thank you very much for staying with me. On the business, um, business studies, office practice is what we've looked at, and we've looked at the 30 questions for 2024 um, BSEC examination. So in our next video, we'll be looking at keyboarding, which is the last aspect of business studies. Um, kindly like, share, and you know subscribe to this wonderful channel if you've not done so. Trust me, more interesting educational content that will help you pass whatever exam you are preparing for is coming your way. We'll keep bringing them to you. For now, I'll say bye.